Hello, friends. In an attempt to boost ratings, because let's face it, uh, we're just two guys, you know, trying to make a show. The Shimmy Show. We, uh, we thought, you know what? We have a TV upstairs in our house. That's right. Not, not our house. No, 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 no. Because we're not. My wife he, and I. Yeah. Okay. We thought we would just hurt it. And what says hurt like that of an iron fist? Please! I'm Jimmy. I'm Shane. And together, we're Shimmy. So how was your New Year's? Oh man, it was good. New Year's was good. Well, my New Year's was amazing. Oh, Tell me about it. No, because yours is more important. Well, I had... That's great, Shane. I hope yours was. Was it? Oh, it was delicious. Well... I want to know about you. I don't care about any of them. Except for you. We had a lot of views last time. How many views? 45,336. Yeah, I mean, give or take. Four... It reminds me of a song I wrote. 4,300 minutes! <laughs> Man, it's good to see Man, you! Man, it's good to see you! Ah! Dustin Stevens, Dustin in the Stevens. U.S. Army, who is currently in Iraq, wants us to say something to his wife. So I'm going to quote this, and I hope this isn't weird. Nancy, I love you very much. <laughs> You just need to know that well, from me to you. <laughs> Dustin, thanks for fighting for us. That's cool. You may not support the war, but you should support the troops. I agree with that. There you go. Tragedy! A tragedy! I'm here. Jimmy, there was a tragedy <clears throat> with this shimmy phenomenon, if you will. What you're about to hear is going to rock your world. If you're a young boy or girl, turn off the camera. If you're an old man, turn on the camera. Here I say more. The camera? Hello, uh, my name is Katie. I'm sitting outside on my porch in the car watching the shimmy show. She's on the porch watching the shimmy show. Continue! And, um, I am watching episode 7. She just finished watching episode 7. I can't take it! Go! And I just learned how to do the shimmy one the Okay, hey, that's good. So no, far, no problems there. She just learned the shimmy. Very many people did. Just briefly. Okay, stop. Oh, I don't want to hurt myself. No. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Here we go. Quiet audience, all... We have... Here's where it gets tricky. The <laughs> shimmy. I got a little crazy, and I rolled my ankle. And I was calling to ask what kind of liability insurance you can have. Did you hear what I heard, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> this woman wants to sue us. For what? I can't even spell liability. You know what, Nancy Drew? That's not her name. Francine Rivers? Her name is... <laughs> so we're we're going to call you Charla. Charla? If you sue us... We will sue you. Squared. You called us. You watched our show. Did we give you permission? Oh, I'm going to do the Charlotte. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to sue you. you. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm going to sue you. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh. going to sue oh. you. Oh. Yeah, thanks a lot, Charlotte. You're great. <laughs> We're nationally syndicated worldwide. Worldwide weekly. <laughs> and this sue. is how you repay us, Charlotte. Sue that. Yeah. Sue that. Go to sueus.com. You just hit me. I'm suing you. <laughs> cut. Cut. Hey. Hey, we're back. Oh, that was fun. Uh, when I say Charlotte, you say... Sue me. <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> I don't think so. Man, this is a good episode. This is a fantastic <clears throat> episode. You can't... Is did it? you cut yourself shaving? I did twice. Oh, oh. Please. <laughs> you know, I use a Braun electric razor. <laughs> I use my hand. And if they sponsored us, I too maybe I could actually show it. But they don't, so I just have to keep drinking Coke Zero. You know, on days like this when I'm really down and depressed, you know what I think? I think LSU won the national championship of the world. <laughs> oh, please! Last week? Last week we filled in a call. Hello. And? They wanted to know about heaven. <laughs> 
and hell. Right. And uh, the caller basically asked, if you don't know Jesus, do you go to hell? We talked about that last episode. You could check it out. We played, uh, we played the, the benediction from uh, Jimmy's CD, uh, Speak, which uh, you can actually look on the shimmyshow.com and, and get that separate uh, the benediction part with the words and stuff. It's really good. Continue, please. This week, we got another email. This one's from Emily. Emily, we want to thank you for emailing us. You can also email us. Right there. Right there. And it says this. Hey! Shane? Huh, it's interesting that she would only address me. Uh, don't look at it. It didn't say. Uh, okay. It says, I'm 17 years old. Turn it off. <laughs> I've never really been close to God, really. I didn't uh, even start to believe in Him until about a year ago. I would love to get to know Him more. How can I get closer to God? Great question, because last time we talked about how do you come to know God in the first place. That's right. Which we dealt with. Again, check it out. <laughs> oh! oh! There it is. Oh, digital. Uh, this time, let's talk about what it means to walk with God. I would tell, uh, tell you about how to get closer to God would be one to read, read the Bible. To know God, you have to know His Word. So imagine if my wife and I, we talked like once a week, right? How great would our relationship would be? How many of you girls are out there thinking, Man, I, I can't wait for that guy who's going to talk to me once a week. Oh, lame. So why is it with God? We're like, oh, I'm going to read the Bible only when the preacher is preaching it at me. That's like their only time in the Word. Wow, that's... God's really excited about that, I think. False. How do you know? Want to know how do you get to know God? By knowing His Word. That's one. That's one. Two. Talking to God. Prayer. Uh, junior year of high school, I came home uh, every day from school, and I would never eat my lunch at school. I was a little bit of a weirdo with a beard. <laughs> I'd go upstairs and I'd just eat my lunch and kind of have like lunch with God, if you will. It sounds kind of cheesy, but but it got me in a routine of talking to God regularly, and I think that's what we need to establish. Um, so don't be intimidated. Just try it out. Short prayers to God throughout the day. Um, just see what happens. God will start speaking to you clearly. You'll start being able to articulate yourself clearly to Him. It's going to be beautiful. Another thing about, we talked about fellowship with God and, and, and through prayer. Another uh, one would be kind of accountability and fellowship with others. Right. A verse that I quote to, to guys that I teach a lot um, out of the Word is this. But encourage one another day after day. As long as it is called today, so that none of you will be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Which means, if you aren't having fellowship where you're hanging out with people and they're encouraging you in God, you're going to fall into sin. That's the reality. I've seen it happen time after time with, with my friends who went off by themselves. They, they went off to college, didn't get in, in any sort of community with other believers. And they just fell off the deep end. And it's a tragedy. And another thing, this is four. Uh, you don't just need only fellowship with one another on the same level, but you need people older than you who are able to teach you and pour into you. Uh, I, I don't know about you, but again, in high school, I had the privilege of being discipled, being taught uh, every week uh, by a, a good friend of mine who was my youth pastor at the time. And man, that had more of an impact on me and the people uh, uh, that he taught as well than anything in my whole high school career to get me closer to God. It really stimulated my interest in God. And pray that God would bring someone into your life like that. Um, and, and then be looking for that at your church. You can even ask your, uh, you can even ask your preacher or uh, someone who's teaching over you. Uh, just ask them, hey, would, would you be willing to meet with me and teach me some things? It's really helpful, and it's really a blessing, and it'll really get you closer to God. But also, uh, is you investing in others as, as you grow and, and, and cultivate your relationship uh, with God. But also, guys, it's really easy to be and to get discouraged, you know? You're like, man, I, I, I'm reading this, or I don't have anybody. And, uh, you know, honestly, that, that first time in my life when I, I trusted Christ and I said, God, you're worth it, I'm going to give everything up for you, was a really lonely time. And it was, a, it was a time where, you know, I, everything was new and I was trying things I didn't really understand. And, um, and, and I just prayed out to God. And, and be encouraged that God loves you. Uh, James 4 uh, says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Um, that God is desperately in, in love with you. And he's not hiding in a corner from you. Um, but there's going to be times where it's going to be really difficult. Um, but don't be discouraged. Um, know that this is, is a, a journey. You're not going to have it all figured out. There's times where I'm like, Jimmy, dude, life's tough. You know, and you need people in your life that you can do that with. And, and uh, man, we'd love to hear your, your stories. Uh, we love uh, doing this. And, and uh, we want you to know that, that God loves you more than you could ever imagine. So much so that he had his son murdered for you. That's pretty big. So, we love you. <laughs> we trust you. We'll see you soon. Give me back my son. <laughs>